Good morning, everybody. Good morning! Welcome to our first morning prayer. A couple, of, a couple reminders. Please leave your mask on while you're out here, unless you're up here at the podium speaking. And um, spread out as much as you can. We will get started in just a second, so let's quiet ourselves as we begin. In today's reading, Jesus carefully prepared to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. Passover is an important holy time for Jews as they remember their ancestors' flight out of slavery in Egypt. Leaven is yeast. When they fled from Egypt, the Israelites had no time for bread to rise, so they only ate unleavened bread. Today we remember St. John of Youth, a priest who wrote fervently about Jesus and Mary, and was devoted to the Sacred Heart and the Immaculate Heart. Make a joyful noise to God all the earth. Make a, Make a joyful, joyful noise, noise to God, God all the earth. Make a joyful noise to God all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Give to him glorious praise. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Make a joyful, joyful noise, noise to God, God all the earth. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. On the first day of unleavened bread, when the Passover lamb is sacrificed, his disciples said to him, Where do you want us to go and make the preparations for you to eat the Passover? So he sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go into the city, and a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him, and wherever he enters, say to the owner of the house, The teacher asks, Where is my guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large room upstairs furnished and ready. Make preparations for us there. So the disciples set out and went to the city, and they found everything as he had told them, and they prepared the Passover meal. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Think about this silently in your heart. How would you plan a meal for your family or friends? Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For people with COVID to know that they are not alone, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may have world peace soon, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. To the new students that they feel welcomed as part of our family at this school, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the 8th graders to know that they will have an amazing journey through life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. God of Moses, help us to keep holy our Sabbath day by loving and honoring you. May we give you thanks and praise always. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Please join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have some birthdays to celebrate for today and yesterday. Yesterday, in fourth grade, Ellie Amos. Yay! Come forward, Ellie. You've got to get your pencil. Also 
here yesterday in fifth grade, John Seaman. Yeah, John! Yesterday in seventh grade, Sarosh Kokar. Yay, Sarosh! For today in fourth grade, Luke Davis. Yay, Luke! Today in seventh grade, Evan Miranda. And in kindergarten, Brady Hasher. Yay, Jordan! What do we We're say? Pretty. We're pretty. Here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> Yay, Brady! Brady, you get up there. Brady, come right up here. Brady, come right up here. Okay. There you go. There you go. What do we say to our birthday people for today and yesterday? Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! Thursday. Yeah!